Hi, I'm Brigadier General Don Tatum, Commanding General of the 135th Expeditionary Sustainment Command. To the family and friends of the 135th, I ask you to help me celebrate an important day. It is not as important as the day when we all come home, but it's a milestone in our deployment. Over 100 days on the job in Kuwait, 100 days of working at the jobs we were prepared to do, 100 days as a citizen soldier who answers the call of the American people, 100 days separated from family, friends, and the comforts of home. While we're not quite at the halfway mark, I wanted to talk to you about the mission and the things that we've accomplished so far. First of all, we've had no serious injuries. As their commander, I want to bring every one of your soldiers home safely, and I'm looking forward to their coming home as much as you are. I want each of you to know that I'm proud of the work your soldier is doing and to let you know that each one is making an impact on the battlefield. As you know, most of our work is done in a classified environment, but our planning and management affects operations around the Middle East. We've delivered more than a million pounds of supplies through airdrops. We've managed the Army post offices and finance centers for soldiers. We manage the passenger flow of almost 100,000 soldiers in and out of theater, and we manage the storage and movement of 24,000 government-owned shipping containers. We've kept over 3,000 pieces of military equipment at over 90% readiness. And in one of our most sacred trusts, we honor the memory of our fallen heroes by overseeing their return flights to the United States. Also, I wanted you to know that we are doing our jobs and spending less money. Currently, we save the U.S. taxpayer more than $16 million through contract cost reduction and an additional $15 million in projects through August. Our work impacts thousands of soldiers in different countries, and I hope it's important to you back home. I'm grateful to you for the sacrifices you have made to allow your sons and daughters, husbands and wives to deploy and perform their sole focus on the job at hand. We cannot operate without you. You all deserve a medal for your unsung service, so please accept my thanks on behalf of the Army. In the days ahead, we'll work hard at our jobs looking forward to the day when we return to Alabama. May God bless all of us and the United States of America.